introduce you, then we can. So I'm, I'm recording so that we can have yeah. it on the, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. So you can I'm go ahead. Admitting. Admit. Yeah. Yes, I did. You're right. Joining. I think everybody is here. Great. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's afternoon in India. Here it is nine hours. What time is the, What time is it in India? It is 12 12.30. 12.30. All right. We are just calling upon the teacher so that she opens yes. up and also the teacher in charge yes. of the grade fours. So that okay. you, as you start. That would program, be great. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Maybe as you are waiting, guys, you can sing the song for our colleagues from India. Wow, go ahead. Can you sing the song <laughs> as you wait for the teacher? Can you welcome them? <laughs> this is Bhavna. This is our colleague. This is Himani. We are all actually in the same room. <laughs> I hope there's no echo. Yes, yes, please start. Hello. Hello, how are you? We are fine, thank you. Let me spotlight for everybody. Yes. Hello, my name is Kalyani. I am the visual arts educator from Sun City School, India. And I have with me two of my teachers. One of them is Himani and the other one is Bhavna. Both of them are also visual arts teachers. And today their, their students are going to present for us. Can you introduce yourself, please? Okay. Um, um, Ani Mawa. The deputy director at Kasimonga Primary School in Zambia. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, with me I have uh, two teachers. This is uh, Benny Mwewa. Hello. Hello. Mm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Benny Mwewa, the uh, grade four teacher mm -hmm. of this school, yes. And my colleague here, good morning, I'm Brenda Patricia, I'm with the chief teacher at Kasunda Primary School. Good morning. morning. Would you like to start with your student's song? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, then we will start. We are ready. I will now. Yes, you can continue with your. I program. will now introduce the teacher who is going to have her students present. Her name is Himani. Himani, please go ahead. Thank you, Kalyani, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. I am Himani. 
from Sun City School Gurugram, India. And I welcome students of Kapironda Primary School, Zambia. Our students from grade three and four will be doing a presentation before you. And today you all will learn about a very famous and a traditional art form, which is called Madhubani. Okay. And now I hand over this to Naisha and I will share my screen. And I will hand over this to Naisha. Good morning, Naisha. Good morning, ma. Good morning. My name is Naisha Saxena. I welcome you all. My friend Brigitte is from Great Four, and she is from the land of beautiful Madhubani paintings. She has so much to tell us about it. Let's watch this video and learn from her about its history. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vidita Ratha. I am a fourth starter, and today I will talk about one of the famous art known as the Madhubani art. The Madhubani art originated in the Mithila region of Bihar in India. It is the birthplace of the Hindu goddess Sita. There is a story behind this. It said that the king Janak, father of Sita, asked the people to paint the region with Madhubani painting as he was very happy that his daughter was getting married to Lord Ram. This is how Madhubani was born. This is also known as Mithila art. This is 2,500 years old art. In this style of painting, it includes of double light consists of beautiful borders with flora patterns. Peacock, elephant and fishes are commonly used motifs in Madhubani art. Styles of Madhubani art are Bhardi, Kachri and Godana. Bhardi means filling. Images with bold black outlines filled with bright and lavish colors. Images represent Hindu god and goddess like Shiva, Radha and Ganesha etc. Kachri. Light work of filling is added to the painting with different types of rendering instead of colors. The painting is colored with monochrome colors or maximum two colors. Godana. It's instantly recognizable for its counter based background and black outline remains the original practice of tattooing. The popular motif used for tattooing is called Panda. When the earthquake hit Bihar in 1934, William G. Archer, a British inspector, discovered Madhubani paintings on the wall of broken houses. He then clicked few pictures and it was the first time that Madhubani painting was introduced to the world. There is a special museum in Japan where more than 800 Madhubani paintings has been exhibited. Indian Railway promote art and culture through the project where Shimpa Kartri Express, Bachda Rajdhani Express, Gautam Makeover Express are decorated with Madhubani paintings. Madhubani painting, also known as Mithila painting, was traditionally created by the women of various communities of the Mithila region. The women painter of this art preserved and practiced this art since Ramayana times and now have reached international level. Madhubani art has received world life attention and today this art has reached to our day-to-day -day life, not only restricted on the walls but on so many products which we use in our daily life. Thank you. Madhubani is a district in the state of Bihar in India. Madhubani means forest of honey. It was traditionally done on freshly plastered mud walls of hut, but now also done on clothes, canvas or papers. 
two dimensional imaginary drawings are made and two colors are derived from plants mostly depicts nature and hindu religions theme maybe sorry excuse me can you put it on a slide show so that you can so we can see the entire screen of, of the powerpoint can you put it on slide show yeah can you put it on slide show yeah slide show so that you can see the entire screen of the powerpoint i come in here not slide show Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. This is a scene from Ramayana. This research is done by Narsha Sustena herself, who is presenting right now to you. Naisha, you can speak about your painting. Oh yes, ma'am. This is a Madhubani art done by me. Thank you. Great. Good morning, Samarbir. Good morning, ma'am. Here you go. Thank you, Naisha and Vidita, for all this wonderful information. Now we have Savi Garg presenting before you about tools, patterns, and themes of Madhubani art. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to tell you about Madhubani art. Madhubani art is a style of Indian painting practiced in the Madhila region. This is done with a few tools like paint paintbrush and gel pen etc. This is characterized by its eye catching and geometrical patterns. This, there is a ritual content of particular occasions like birth or marriage, festivals such as Holi, Surya Shasti, Kali Puja, Upanyana and Durga Puja. This was some information about Madhubani art. Now I will show you one example. This is my work and I have a fish in Madhubani style. Fish is a symbol of prosperity. Madhubani painting is known for its eye-catching geometrical patterns. This painting is a form of wall art and is practiced widely throughout the region. Madhubani painting skills have been passed on through generations to generations, but the content and the style have largely remained the same. Thank you, Summer B and Savi. I will take this forward and tell you more about this art form. Hello, everyone. I'm Samy Anand from class 4B. Generally, no space is left empty. The gaps are filled by paintings of flowers, animals, birds, and even geometric designs. Their themes were mainly their themes were mainly religious and they depicted gods and goddesses paintings. Madhubani art has become a globalized art form and can be seen in various parts of the world. Women of Vihar started painting the tree trunks with Madhubani paintings to protect the trees that were being cut down in the name of development. Gods and goddesses were drawn on the trees and till not, now, not a single tree is cut. Thank you, Savan, for this valuable information. Now, let's see what Lavanya 
from grateful has to tell us ab about it. Good morning everyone. I am Lavanya Mare and I am going to talk about Madhubani painting. Do you know friends, Madhubani painting is 2500 years old. It is the Indian style of painting practiced in the Mithila region of Bihar. It is done by different tools fingertips, natural dyes, matchsticks, and nib pens. The speciality of this art form is that there is no blank space left. Once the figure is drawn, the left of the space is covered with geometrical shapes, flowers, animals, or birds. A scene from a variety of mythological stories are taken to consideration like Now, let me tell you about the styles of Madhubaniya. Madhubani paintings has three major styles, which are Kachni, Bharni and Godna. Also, heavenly bodies like sun and the moon often form the centerpiece of Madhubani paintings. Bharni Madhubani. The Bharni style painting is one of the styles of Madhubani painting. It is known for its vibrant and bright colors. Kachni Madhubani. Kachni painting is mainly made using one or two colors. Now, I want to hand it over to my friend, Sugari. Thank you, Savi. Hello all, I'm Sugari from grade four. Now, we have Jawal Jain from grade three telling us about what he has created and which style of Madhubani art he has used in this artwork. Namaste. Hi friends, I'm Prajwal Jain, a student of grade 3, Sun City School, Guru Gram, India. I have made an art work of Sun God in the Bharmi style of painting, which is one of the five styles of Madhubani paintings. It is a very profound art form, precisely known for its vibrant and bright colors. Like in my picture, you can see I have used red, yellow, orange and blue colors. This art form was traditionally used for portraying Hindu deities and their historical contribution to Indian mythology. Bharni is a Hindi word which means filling. In Mithila and Indian culture, sun is worshipped at as Lord Surya. And sun provides life to this earth and is the source of light, energy and positivity. Hence, I loved creating this artwork. Hope you like this artwork and will also try making one. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Now let me show you some beautiful artworks created by our sun This is a painting of Lord Buddha and a sun painting beautifully created in a Madhubani style.
We seem to have technical difficulty. We'll get back just one minute. So how is everybody enjoying this? Good morning, everyone. One minute, hold on. Ma'am is going to change the next slide. She's having a little trouble changing it. Yeah, now you can, is it ready? Yes, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adil Gupta and I'm from grade three. Today I will tell you about the most beautiful art form of India, the Madhubani art. The Madhubani art is originated in Mithila region of Bihar, India. This is my Madhubani painting that I created. This is Lord Ram uh, along with his brother Lakshman and his wife Sita. This is a scene from epic Ramayana. I have created a deer here and a bird. I have used double lines in every figure of my art. I have uh, used border here. Uh, I have created the border, which is an essential part of this painting. This is the Bharni style of the uh, uh, Madhubani art that I have used. And I have filled with, with beautiful colors to make my painting bright and beautiful. Good morning. Gaudi. I think we have lost connection with her. So, Gadi, are you there? So, Gadi, unmute yourself. So, Gadi? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I got this. No worries. Continue, please. This is a painting of Lord Ram. Lord and uh, uh, Desita. Yeah, was created by Adit Gupta. Yeah. Yes. Body. And Prima and Prima Dubani painting. Um, will have at least one of on the sun as they pay to as one of the daily basis they are developed on the sun for a good harvest and you can find sun paint painted in a different mood and different colors in many places. Fish is a Madhubani painting in a wise prosperity and fertility and good and considered to be bring good luck. Thank you, Subhari. Good morning, Sudan. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, Subhari, Prajwal, and Adit for a valuable input. Hello, everyone. I'm Sudan Gatta from Grade 4. Now we have Samiha Batra demonstrating in front of us on how to make Madhumani paintings. Hello everyone, my name is Samiha Batra. I study in class 4, Sun City World School, Gurugram, India. Today we are going to make a Madhumani painting. Madhumani art is a traditional style of Indian painting practiced in Bihar, Mithila. It is made using bright colors on cloth, paper, and canvas. So let's get started.
Thank you, Samiha. Over here, we have a beautiful peacock and a deer in Madhumani style. Now we have Sanskriti telling us about her work. Hello, friends. I am going to explain about my Madhubani painting. There are many styles in Madhubani like Godhana, Kachri and Bhani. I have used Kachri style in my painting where very detailed and complicated lines are used. For this painting, I have used two... two line borders. I drew fish within these borders. Fish is a symbol of fertility and prosperity in Madhubani painting. I've used double borders to draw fish as well. Watercolors are used to fill colors in this fish. I have used some flowers and patterns to make it more beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Sanskriti. Thank you. Here, we have three drawings. Two are peacocks and one is a tree. Now, Adit will demonstrate how to make a deer in Madhumani art. Thank you, Adit. Hello all, I'm Nathan Nagar from grade 4A. Now I will be sharing you all about the famous artist of Madhubani art, their work and contribution towards Madhubani art worth big mentions. Here are some of the national award winners of the Madhubani painting. Jagdamba Devi, Sita Devi, Ganga Devi and Godavari Devi as well as Mahasamiti Devi. She was Mahasamiti Devi. She was the artist who had taken Mithila painting on international level and helped their marvelous painting in into getting an international recognition 
nation, she was one of the most talented and the most awarded Madhubani painting artists. Mahasundri Devi also painted at Madhubani Railway Station and many trains. She had made a series of Mithila paintings which were about 66 feet long. She did her last painting in 2011. Masundri Devi. These are uh, this is Masundri Devi and her most beautiful drawings done by her. Thank you, Natanya. Thank you. Thank you, Natanya. Even I did not know about these artists and the contributions. Now I, Yuan, will share some beautiful works done by students. But before that, let's learn from Hadeka how to make borders in Madhubani painting. Good morning, everyone. My name is Harika Mirotra and I'm from 4th grade. The border is an important aspect of Madhubani painting. It makes the painting unique and complete. It is drawn on all four sides like a frame. Borders can be geometrical or floral. Now, I'll tell you how to make a border. Make two double lines. Leave the space of one inch and again make two double lines. Make the letter V. Now, double the letter V. Now, I'll show you the Madhuban painting and the border will look like this. I have made more designs. Thank you. You want? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Harika. Now you will be amazed to see the works created by my friends who are between 8 to 10 years of age. Wow! Such a detailed peacock made using Kachni technique. And next to it, you can see a festive tree with Diwali theme. Here, you can see geometric patterns, which are eye-catching. Two geometric fishes and special attention to this very detailed, vibrant, beautiful woman. A, bir a bird happily perched on a branch next to flowers. A beautiful peacock and another happy fish. Look at the vibrancy of this art form. A big sun sprawling light on the sea. A peacock merrily perch with feathers showing wide and open. Another bright sun with such powerful features. And peacock basking in yellow bright sunlight.
Here you can see how the indigo background is bringing out the beautiful colors of the flowers and the bird. And a very detailed artwork of offering to our favorite deity, Lord Ganesha. The indigo waves, red, yellow, orange of this bright artwork of the sun makes it absolutely eye-catching and so is the parrot next to it. A woman carrying pot in the forest made by Bharni. A bright sun with beautiful borders made by Kachni and a bird made with such detailing de depicting nature in its beauty. Here the tea with festive look celebrating Diwali festival. A fish made with variety of colors. And a girl face made with geometric precision makes these quite exotic. I wish you all like learning about this great art form as much as I did. Thank you, Yuvan. Thank you so much. Now, I would like Kalyani ma'am to speak a few words. Thank you so much, children. You were amazing. I want to clap for you. Can everybody clap? It was excellent. Stop sharing, Himani ma'am. Everybody can unmute and clap. I think everybody needs to hear the claps. <laughs> Let's all clap. Awesome work. Awesome work. So, let's listen to what our friends have to say. Oh, so nice. They're telling us thank you in such a beautiful, melodious way. <laughs> uh, I would like to hand over to Himani. Would you like to say something about how you your children prepared for this and all of that? Then we'll ask them if they have questions. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ma'am. First of all, a big clap from my side to all my lovely children. Love you all and... Pat your back, first of all. I want you all to pat your back. You did a wonderful job. You did a beautiful job. Excellent. And I hope our fellow students from Kafironda Primary School must, uh, must have learned so many things from you all today. And they will uh, take this forward and make beautiful artworks taught by you. And then they will share what they did. Yeah? Yes? Children, will you do that? So, what uh, Himani has done is she has sent you some drawings. Uh, where are the students? Bhavna, can you be on? You are for some reason being seen. Why? Uh -huh. uh, let's uh, put this one on. Yeah, I'll spotlight we, 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 this. We received, yeah. the, we received the drawings. There are three drawings. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So what you, what you will do, um, yeah. maybe after this session, our students mm -hmm. will paint, you color, then we shall send them over so that you see how Super. the Cambian Excellent are idea. But maybe before... Excellent you, idea. Before maybe mm -hmm. we, we you continue, we're waiting for our head teacher was to say some few words. Now we yes. are in yes. the first instance we are the deputy. Now the head teacher has come. Then from there, our students uh -huh. from here they will showcase some simple, just maybe two songs. As we said, you tell us when to come in. 
so that we yes we we we, we, we make it lovely and also they show absolutely what they have done for for us Madam, absolutely she's coming <laughs> this is the she, she will introduce herself the number of students that and what other the other things that you might need to collaborate with you she will tell us yes hello hello good morning good morning uh, it's afternoon for us oh afternoon day. <laughs> yes yeah uh, i'm mrs mkupo lily mm -hmm. from way yeah okay uh, this this school is the Fronda primary school uh-huh it runs from preschool up to grade nine uh -huh. and hopefully, okay hopefully next year we are going to have the set the first set of grade 10. okay yeah so now this classroom is for grade three and four uh-huh uh-huh so we are very happy to collaborate with you and we hope to learn a lot from that side and we are going to learn you are going to learn from us Absolutely. We would yes. love, we are really waiting because you will be surprised. We are so excited to learn about African art because there's so much of culture in both India and Africa. Yes. And so, and in, in a lot of ways, there are similarities. So we would love to learn some African art from you. <laughs> you, you should learn some of the art that we do at this particular school. Okay, surely we are going to have another session in December and that time it will be your turn to teach us like how we have taught you right now. So your turn will come in December and we are really looking forward to it. And before I forget, I want you all to look at what I am wearing. I will spotlight myself because friends, this is Madhubani art. Okay. Spotlight for everyone. Look at what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. this is a vest. Can you see? Yeah. This is yeah. actually the art that you just learned. Oh. Can you see the beautiful designs? Yeah. Is there too yeah. much light? Which side would be good? Yeah. So in India, we use a lot of these traditional folk art elements. In our daily life, we may make outfits out of it. We have uh upholstery we have you know curtains and bed sheets and all kinds of things with the beautiful art forms of india just wanted to show you <laughs> okay. yeah nice go ahead nice. okay does anyone have any questions for our students about the art form do you want to ask anything Uh, we are grateful for that wonderful presentation. We've learned a lot from what the learners have presented. Uh, well, we have no questions. We've seen how <laughs> <it's a bit. laughs> uh, we are. We, we just hope that you're going to learn from us. If you know, we've just, been, we've just prepared a few things, but we hope that you will learn something from us. Absolutely. Yes. Anything is okay. okay. So, <laughs> we would like to, uh, yeah, go the, ahead, go ahead. The, uh, yes. the dancing floor there. We start with the traditional dancing? Yeah, we start with the traditional. Maybe, no, let's showcase what they have okay. done. Then we do a present, uh, the traditional dance. Uh, in, uh, the great pose, I prepared something. They will talk about the, uh, the flag and uh, the coat of arms, which talks about our national identity. And they've also okay. prepared something uh, of African art and something to do home craft. And they will do a little bit of traditional dances. Awesome. <laughs> it's all yours now. Go ahead. Those who are presenting, can you come and sit there? So let me, as we wait for our colleagues to come, we can sing some songs. Thank <laughs> you. 
ठीक है Can you talk a little louder? I couldn't hear that. Come closer and talk. Okay. Come, that's better. Uh, can you speak come closer and speak very little we cannot hear clearly yeah that's better my name is natasha Green. this is a star it is it is made from a variable material like wires lead and wood thank you so what is trying to say as you can see very innovative this is a flat mm. Uh huh. Oh, beautiful! This they made a musical thing. instrument. Yeah, this is wood. beautiful. So they did. Um, they, they collected the wood. They got the damaged plates, used plates, and they made some. Can you see that? The yeah. guitar. Beautiful. Awesome. That's really wonderful. Very innovative. Very awesome. good. Awesome. And does can you play music on it? Can you play and show me? <laughs> Play music and show me. Shout your name. My name is Gitsuma. This is uh -huh. a woman. Uh -huh. Show it to me. Yes. This is a woman. Uh -huh. Okay. Really pretty. Can you bring it closer and so, show me? So this. They use the uh, glass. Uh -huh. Then they have to put on plastics, different colors. Then uh -huh. they have to use needle and some. Uh, okay, they stitch it wood. together. Then they stitch uh -huh. it together. It's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful. They table, look really table good. Mat, table mat. Table yeah. mat. Where, where oh, you can put the hot stuff. Lovely, the lovely. Cups there. This is what very nice. Today. Excellent. And did they make it themselves? Your students made this? They were able to make uh, wow. themselves. Wonderful. 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 Oh, look at this. And, I, and I'm going to tell you about this. This is a dog. It is made 
read by ordinary ordinary materials like stenge inside here we do foam and before and I are made small, small buttons. Okay. Okay, okay. Small, small buttons right. for the eyes. Show me, show me. <laughs> what oh, you're trying to say is that uh, instead of us going in shops to buy those expensive dolls, we are, uh -huh. we were, they were using those available materials. Uh -huh. and then inside they had to put uh, the forms and the eyes, they had to use the, what, mm. the small buttons. So in short, mm. they were just using those available materials to make it thing. We, we are, are so, so proud, proud of you. you. Wonderful. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. It, it is made from available materials like, like this old sack because I know that this sack it is already done with using it. Mm. And we can use these old, old materials. Thank you. Okay. That is yes, really so beautiful. On, that, on this one, um, uh -huh. this uh, uh, this rug I'm holding or a doma, it was made uh -huh. from odd pieces of clothes and the, an odd sack. So all we can do instead of going shops as well to buy those mm. rugs, those expensive rugs, we just have mm. to make it this doma using it, odd pieces of what the clothes and the, an odd sack. Correct. They were Very able nice. to do this themselves. I am amazed to see this. Yes. And this is so different because you won't get anything like this in the store. Yes. Isn't it? <laughs> Very and nice. I would like to add here on this. My mother sewed something like this 40 years back. Oh. And she still owns it and she doesn't give me. She says, you <laughs> it, I won't give you. <laughs> Beautiful. At this point in time, we are, uh, they are going to present at least two traditional songs and they are going to dance as they are presenting. Okay. All right. Go ahead. We are waiting. <laughs> Oh, those instruments are looking wonderful. The they are what are they called? What are these drums called? <laughs> Such vibrant colors look. Look at the beautiful. Oh, oh very nice. <laughs> Lovely. We are waiting. I wish I had. <laughs> Superb. <laughs> it's looking so nice on the blue, no? <laughs> I'm so happy we are recording this. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, the attire that they are going to wear, the, they are going to tie themselves with the tender materials and a little bit of some fat that we made as cake. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. I wish I had called, oh God. <laughs> Like this. Mm, very nice. Instant costume. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
everybody sun city school unmute and clap unmute and clap everybody amazing beautiful listen to your clap so good so now one session will be for the learning dance i want to learn the ah, me to be be both <laughs> We both will learn. Yes, so that's uh, just for performing. It's just about the. It's just talking about the way we help our mothers on how to pound things, sleeping, and all that. Oh, I see. Oh, how you're helping your family? Okay, very nice. We are going to do the last song. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, from you uh this is the, as you heard from the teacher and the deputy and the teacher the four teachers from uh -huh. Zambia we are saying thank you very much and goodbye thank you thank, thank you, you very thank much. You so much bye wait one bye minute bye. let's take a listen Unless listen don't don't, don't 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 <laughs> listen okay, listen up. let's take a screenshot <laughs> Yes. Take a huh. no, can I take view picture? Oh, turn on the camera. Yeah, now let's take a gallery view picture. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, one minute. Please wait. One more. Come, let the children come closer. Let you, yeah, that's better. Come closer, come closer to the camera. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Come closer. Come closer, very good, that's better. Thank you so much, it was wonderful. We really enjoyed. Malini, thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everybody. I uh, sorry I joined late, and uh, I could find myself with the you know since being in Mauritius, so I could mm -hmm. find the uh, I mean the connection. Indian tradition, the connection, yes. and the African one. So, 
So I am in the middle yeah. between both of you. Absolutely. And I really enjoy the Madhubani session because this is what also I, uh, I teach my trainee teachers for primary uh -huh. level. So I could see the, you know, the, the, the same type of drawing and pictures because they also look mm. into from the internet and uh, mm. you are more well versed with that I mean with uh, Madhubani painting than us even in Mauritius here we have mm. it in saris you know and uh, I myself I don't have one <laughs> next time I'll come to India I'll try to find one outfit mm. with Madhubani because I learned about Madhubani mm. quite late I never learned about mm. it in fine arts school but uh, I learned it from uh, mm -hmm. online and uh, before starting the mm -hmm. training. And even now at the school at primary mm -hmm. level, since we train teachers about Madhubani, Thank you, Madi. They do teach thank students and okay. quite famous. Okay. Uh, and thank you from Zambia mm -hmm. also. The dance was uh, perfect. You know, I really mm -hmm. enjoyed. <laughs> and wish you all the best. I, I, I mean, I try to catch up with you, yeah. everybody. Here we again went to a third phase oh, of, uh, you know, COVID. closure mm. in Russia since uh, two days okay. ago. So we are quite in a difficult situation. Mm. So I wish you all the best. And uh, thank you for all those teachers and students who have invested so much. I can see the investment. Mm. I'm really proud of you all. And uh, let's uh, great work continues. And hats off to all teachers. I'm always, you know, I have a very... Uh, uh, a great thinking for all teachers <laughs> because the teachers wherever they are in any part of the world these are you know wonderful job that we are all are doing so i'm really proud of you all thank you i want to introduce uh, mishek i want to introduce one more teacher sir just come to the screen once this is buddha dev sir he was can you put uh, on the spotlight so that we can see her? Uh? Can you put can you put him on spotlight so that you can see him? And it's uh, I just uh... bye. We can leave now. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bab. I have a great day. Bye. So, uh, shall we leave? I left. Leaving.